Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to upload your source code or your project from your local machine to a GitHub using Git Bash. So that's the topic which we are going to see today. And to upload your project or source code from your remote machine to the GitHub, you need a valid GitHub account. It's for free. So you can just sign up here. Go to github.com and you can sign up if you don't have an account. If you already have an account, you can use that account and create a repository. So if you are going to upload a new project, you have to create a repository. Just name this repository. Just give the name for the repository. And for this tutorial, I'm going to give a test as a repository name. And if you have a commercial, you can make it as private. But if you don't have a commercial, if you don't uh, want to spend money, for a private account you can use public it will be visible to anyone okay so repository name is given and if you want to add a documentation that is what this all repository is about you can use this option if you don't want the description or if you don't have an <coughs> explanation of what this project is all about you can uncheck this one so just click on the kit create repository so once this is done you can see that repository is created and this is a quick setup so this is https link and you can find the ssh link so it's always advisable to use https so if you want to upload the source code from your local machine to this git repository you need a git bash or github desktop application so it is always preferred to use git bash rather than a github or desktop application so to download git bash go to git scmcom downloads and you can also find this link in the description go to this uh, link you can find software for three different operating system one is a mac os windows and linux so i'm using windows so i have uh, already downloaded this uh, github and also have installed this app uh, git bash so it looked like this and the installation is very simple just it's a simple exe file all you need to do is just double click and click on next 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 that that's it it will get installed on your windows operating system once that is installed you can find it uh, here or if you have a shortcut created you can find it in the desktop as well if you open this and it will look like this and this is the command we are going to use to upload a file to this repository that is a test repository <coughs> let's see one by one and what is the use of this command so now I want to push this v.xlsx to this uh, test repository that is what we are going to see right now so before that go to git bash and as I said ls and cd are the most commonly used command in the git bash so ls list all the files in the path the default path so you need to change the path to this one because we need to push this excel file so just copy this one and you have to change the directory in order to change the directory you have to use a command cd followed by quotation paste double quotation that's it so if you type ls that is a, to list the file you can see that it contains p.xlx that is what presented this directory so that's it we are done we have switched to our project directory and the next step is you have to initialize the git so not to initialize the git you have to use a command git space in it so I, I have already initialized that if it is not initialized it will get initialized if you use this command once it is initialized you can see this folder dot git it is a, a hidden file if you uh, make a settings to show hidden file you can see this are dot git otherwise you don't see this up so that's it the github is initialized then next one is git remote add origin so this is a command you use to push your source code to this repository so we have already created a repository here and this is the link for this repository if you want to copy this link just click on this icon so it will copy to your clipboard and go to the git bash type git 
remote add origin and link <clears throat> you have to paste the link so that's it and it shows that remote origin already exists because uh, I have already add this origin if this is not done this will get done in this step <clears throat> next one we have to check whether we have access for push and pull in order to check that you have to use a command git remote hyphen v so you can see that we can able to fetch and push and the next one is we have to add the files that is v.xls so what is the source code we need to upload this source code to this directory in order to upload that git add dot if you use the dot it will upload all the files which is present in this directory if you want to upload by any particular file you can mention the same and you can check the command in the git help I will show you at the final step how to make use of the git help uh, <coughs> command so as of now I want to add all the files that is listed in this directory as of now it's it contain only feed.xls so I use the command git add that's it so these files will be in staged location it's in the temporary me memory that's that is ready to be pushed to this repository once that is done we are ready to commit so you have to use a command commit hyphen m and you have to give a description about this command if you're doing this for a very first time you can mention it as a first commit and click on enter and finally you have to use git push origin monster so that uh, it will push this feed.xls to this repository git push origin master so sometime it will ask you for the credential uh, when you are doing this for a very first time all you have to do is uh, give your username and password github username and password so that uh, it can interact with the repository that you have mentioned so you can see that a uh, new branch monster is created and it's get pushed to the given repository let's check it out all you uh, need to do is uh, just uh, refresh this one and you can see that <coughs> the file that we want to push is updated in the github so this is how you can upload your source code or your project to a github using the simple command and you can find the command in the description as well and if you're stuck up with somewhere you can use a git help to and you can see what each command is doing clone what it will do and initialize as I said it initialize an empty git repository or reinitialize an existing one so each command and description you can find if you use the command git help and if you use a git command hyphen a and git command git help hyphen g which list available subcommands and some concept guides so thank you for watching this video if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye